It's the Refined Reseller. Thanks for tuning in. eBay shipping rates are increasing for 2021. What should you as an eBay seller do? I have the answer coming right up. The cost of shipping an item you just sold on eBay is going up. How much? Find out. But first, please take the time to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Well, it's a new year, and if you print out your shipping label via eBay's website on Seller Hub, like most eBay sellers do, the price of shipping is increasing. That's right. If you ship out an item via the United States Postal Service or FedEx, the price is going up. However, if you ship out UPS, there is no price increase for 2021. The UPS rates are staying the same. So what does that mean for eBay sellers like me and you? Well, it means we are going to have to adjust our shipping prices to reflect the increases. Now let's take a look at those increases and we're going to start with the United States Postal Service. Their increases start on January 24th. For priority mail, the rate will increase approximately 3.5%. For a first class package, you will see a 6.5% increase. Priority Mail Express is going up 1.2% and Parcel Select 4.9%. The one I'm most concerned about is the increase on first class packages. That's because I sell a lot of small items and I ship out a lot of items that way. You can ship something out first class package if it weighs less than one pound. Now let me be clear, I do not do free shipping. All of the items I sell on eBay, the buyer pays for shipping. For first class package items, I charge a flat rate no matter where in the United States it is going. The buyer pays the same rate. For example, it costs $2.84 to ship out a package first class mail that weighs less than four ounces. That rate is going up 6.5%. So now instead of paying $2.84 to ship it out, it's going to cost $3.02. So I will have to go back and revise all of the shipping charges I have on all of the first class items I have currently listed on eBay. Now an 18 cent increase may not seem like a lot, but in the long run after shipping out a lot of packages, it really adds up and it takes money out of your pocket. I'm not really worried about the increase in US PS priority mail because I do calculated shipping. eBay figures out the cost to the buyer depending on where they live and the buyer pays for shipping. Also, I never ship out anything priority mail express or parcel select. As a matter of fact, the United States Postal Service is gradually cutting out parcel select this year. Now, if you do international shipping, the cost is going up as well, and here are those increases. eBay international standard delivery rates will increase an average of 1.7%. USPS Priority Mail International is going up approximately 5.1%, while USPS First Class Package International Service will see a 4.8% increase. Now, let's look at FedEx, and those rates are already in effect. Rates for FedEx Ground, FedEx Two Day, FedEx Home Delivery, and FedEx Smart Post Services have increased by approximately 4.9%. So there you have it. Keep in mind the two things you need to be most concerned about are number one, when charging a flat rate shipping charge like I do for first class packages, review the listing and make sure the flat rate charge reflects the shipping increase. Number two, if you do free shipping, Make sure that if you have built the cost of the shipping into the cost of the item, go back and revise the price of the item to reflect the increase in the shipping cost. Shipping is all part of doing business on eBay and generally every year the cost of shipping goes up and it is going up this year. I just wanted to make you aware of it. I hope this video was informative, thoughtful, and I hope you learned something from watching it. If you did, please take the time to like it and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. This is The Refined Reseller saying, as always, do like me, buy low, sell high, good sourcing, good selling, and I'll see you next time.